I thought this shit was a scam. I saw this controller when it was literally only available on two websites on all of Google. They were both EE websites and I was positive they didn't even exist. Fucking sucks because I could have gotten this review out like, like centuries ago. It was real, it just wasn't announced. This is the third attempt by Powery to make a decent $100 pro controller with four rear paddles. Although this time the paddles had a religious conversion, so there's one less reliability issue to worry about. As far as I'm aware, the Victrix Gambit as well as the Fusion controllers are really the only viable options at or under $100 for four rear paddles or buttons. However, I do think it's necessary to recall the launch of the Fusion Pro 2. After all the stock of the Fusion Pro 1 was sold, the second iteration was immediately dropped to a $20 to $30 discount for the majority of its lifetime. This may one day happen to the Fusion Pro 3 as well, making the cheapest four button pro controller even cheaper. Unlike its ancestors though, um, it didn't follow in their footsteps, it's not as inbred or genetically fucked. This is the new and improved Fusion Pro. It's, it's a, not it's new, an excellent car. It isn't new. But it is new. It isn't. It, that's the new 9 uh, Okay, right, we've got a photograph here of the one before. Wow! And before we move forward with this review, I'd quickly like to announce our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB assembly service that also does stuff like CNC machining and 3D printing, all of which have instant quotes available on their website linked in the description below. So if you're looking to do your own advanced DIY projects, be sure to check them out. I'd like to give a huge thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. I'm sure many of you have heard of the stigma of trilogy movies. The third installment is usually the most garbage, although the Dark Knight Rises slaps, don't at me bitch. The fusion follows no such formula. The four paddles have been converted into four much more superior buttons. The dome stick is now actually usable with a new and improved texture for grip. The case that was previously the biggest case of any pro controller ever is now one of the smallest. And the weights Powery added to give the previous two fusions a more premium feel have been removed, reducing the controller from 368 grams to 240-ish, an absolutely massive difference of 130 grams, or 35% compared to the Fusion Pro 2, which I understand some people may think the controller now feels cheaper because it's lighter. One, a stock Xbox controller with batteries installed is 275 grams. And secondly, and I've said this before, measuring a product's quality by how good it feels, very good way to get fucked. That is how iPhone users are crafted. The remaining undiscussed features like the braided USB-C cable and recessed USB port, the 250 hertz polling rate that cannot be overclocked, and the borderline useless three-way trigger stops from the previous two fusions have all made their way to this controller. In the case of the polling rate or response time, that's not actually a bad thing. That makes this one of the fastest Xbox Pro controllers available, second only to the Victrix Gambit when it's overclocked. In the case of the trigger stops, however, much different story. After 10,000 years of shitty trigger stops, Powery finally made them shorter by about two nanometers. So, uh, per usual, I can't actually praise the Fusion until I shit on the triggers that they have refused to even touch. The trigger stops pretty much still do nothing, and magically, even though they're extremely similar to the ones on the Fusion Pro 2, they somehow stop the trigger with one third the dead zone. I'm sorry, but does the trigger on the left look like it's stopping 60% faster than the trigger on the right? And unlike pretty much every other Pro Controller, Razer, Thrustmaster, Victrix, anything, these trigger stops don't alter the dead zones at all, when you activate them. So if you wanna play a shooter game that involves cars, you are completely screwed. They exist specifically to inflate the spec sheet. The GameStar G7 doesn't even have trigger stops, but because it has adjustable trigger dead zones, its triggers are faster, even though they travel further. And one quick note before I stop bitching about the trigger stops. If you are considering going back and rewatching my Fusion Pro 2 versus the Victrix Gambit video, the only difference between that comparison and a comparison between this is the fact that this has a superior four button layout, but the Victrix has way faster triggers. So essentially buy that if you want faster triggers and not a very comfortable four button layout, but a better two button layout. And buy this if you want a four button layout that's better. That's pretty much what that comparison video would be. So yeah, there, there you go. So if you don't know, now you know. So after universally bitching about it for ever, um, they finally gave us buttons. Previously, the Fusions used very, very, very flappy paddles that were pussy lips loose uh, the second they came out of the box, it was pretty annoying. They were designed by some brain-dead drunk Americans, so they were metal paddles 
held in place by cheap ass plastic and that plastic decided it was going to degrade over time. So in some cases, the paddles would not just come out of the box loose, they would get more and more loose until the point where they were unusable. So after years and years and years and years and years and years of controversy, the drunk American who designed these sobered up and gave us buttons. And unlike Scuff, who swapped over from paddles, uh, after doing them for four or five hundred years, when they swapped to buttons, their design sucked. Not the case with Power A, they did a very, very good job. It's a very simple, refreshing layout, although the Fusion's a smaller controller, so people with bigger hands are probably gonna have problems with those. But if you can use them effectively, you can do some pretty cool shit. They're super responsive, they feel great. 10,263 times better than the paddles they replaced, for sure. One tip for custom controller makers, pro controller makers, keep the buttons on the grip. Good shit, Power A. This is how you make great buttons. I will extend this praise to the new and improved dome stick as well. The old one was smooth brained as hell, but the new one has a grip that's toward the edges and prevents me from slipping and sliding off. They also include an extendo stick, which is nice if you don't have control freaks and whatever sticks you don't end up using can go back in the carrying case. There's not a specific spot for the sticks like there is in the old carrying case, but I personally prefer the new one as it's a lot, lot smaller. Although I wouldn't recommend keeping your controller and your USB cable in there. If you put the cable in the pouts, it'll jam your thumbsticks up while uh, it's enclosed in the case, which isn't good for power rate controllers, especially. Uh, Kind of, kind of kind of prone to stick drift. It's best to keep a power rate controller in its case whenever you aren't using it. The wind might pick up and you might get a double clicking ABXY button or a bumper that no longer works. Power Ray is one of the only people who includes a two year manufacturer's warranty in case you have one of the many, many, many problems the Fusion and power rate controllers in general seem to have like uh, headphone jack problems, ABXY button failure, trigger issues, stick drift, the works. And by the way, just because they have issues, do not listen to the dickheads who are going to be in the comments saying you get what you pay for. A $100 controller, a $100 wired Xbox controller is not cheap and should not perform as such. These custom made suits aren't cheap, <laughs> you know what I mean? Power devices are built out of I mean, quite literally shit bricks, but they do get the job done. And they aren't too much worse than what Microsoft offers. So at the end of the day, it's not the worst deal. The Fusion controllers are the cheapest four paddle, and in this case, four button controllers on the market that you can find. You can find cheaper options out there somewhere, but they aren't nearly as reputable. And like I said, this one comes with a two year manufacturer's warranty. When Power Ray controllers do work, they seem to work for eons. I've had my Fusion Pro 1 since Kennedy got fried. I couldn't kill this thing even if I wanted to. Sucks I couldn't say the same about Kennedy. I have physical proof that I was, see look, I was invited. This is how long my Fusion Pro has been around. But when you get right down to it, Power Ray overall makes some pretty good budget pro controllers. They're very simple and have affordable prices, so they're wonderful for newcomers. And people who already have pro controllers have a wonderful, cheap alternative to whatever they're currently using. A former Elite Series 2 user who loses their controller to stick drift now has an option for replacement that is half the price of the Elite Series 2. And it's made by people who are on fucking mushrooms. I mean, look at these stickers. Like, like... Like, what's going on? You see, Microsoft isn't doing DMT and designing their controllers because they're lame as fuck. Someone who is on acid made the Spectra, and that guy's cool as shit. And if you've been thinking about getting a Power Ray controller or thinking about upgrading or thinking about getting a Pro controller, keep in mind, like I said, this one will probably be cheaper very, very soon within the next couple of months. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, I'm going to go. I have a silver plaque to attain this summer. So even though I'm going, I will see you guys again very very soon and if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them down in the comment section below i will uh respond to some comments or some other controller deity will oh yeah and by the way if a controller like this is coming out and they haven't really formally announced it and you see it on a website somewhere please send me a fucking link so many people told me about this controller before it came out and didn't include a link and then i went and found it myself and thought it was a scam because i don't know if you can tell i'm american and i don't know that these websites are like um real if it's not some evil multi-billion dollar company I'd, i'm not aware of it so if you have something you'd like me to review or something that hasn't been announced be sure to drop it down there i'll see you guys in like 16 seconds or something like that take it easy Surprise, motherfucker. This is the missile guidance system, bitch. I'm about to show you why the U.S. doesn't have free health care. I'm the missile guidance system, and I'm here to fuck shit up. You can have some freedom, too. Hold this fucking missile flying at Mach Jesus.